Have you heard about the recent chilling decision from the U.S. Supreme Court? And what does it have to do with slavery? Do you understand how some will profit from this decision? I'll explain the connections later in the video. The SCOTUS has now given the green light for criminalization of homelessness. America, supposedly the land of the free, just took another giant leap backward. The Supreme Court, in a deeply disturbing decision, has effectively criminalized homelessness. Imagine being punished for simply existing, for not having a roof over your head. This is the reality now facing thousands of homeless individuals across the nation. This ruling allows local governments to penalize individuals sleeping in public spaces. It means that cities can now impose fines, issue citations, and even arrest those who have no other place to go. Just think about that for a second. People who are already struggling to survive, now being targeted by the very system that should be protecting them. People with nowhere to go, now facing fines, jail time, or worse, just for trying to survive. This isn't just a legal issue. It's a moral and ethical crisis. It's a cruel and heartless decision that should send chills down the spine of every American who believes in justice and compassion. This ruling doesn't just affect the homeless. It affects us all. This isn't just about sleeping on a sidewalk. It's about criminalizing poverty and punishing those who are already marginalized. It's about a fundamental erosion of human dignity. When we start punishing people for their circumstances, we lose a part of our own humanity. It's about turning a blind eye to the plight of our most vulnerable citizens. Instead of offering help and support, we're choosing to penalize and ostracize. This ruling has far-reaching consequences, setting a dangerous precedent that could have a devastating impact on communities across the country. It opens the door for more punitive measures against the poor and disenfranchised. We need to understand the gravity of this situation and fight back against this assault on basic human rights. Advocacy and action are more crucial now than ever. The crushing weight of the law. How this ruling impacts the most vulnerable. Let's be crystal clear. This ruling disproportionately affects the most vulnerable members of our society. We're talking about individuals struggling with poverty, mental illness, addiction, and disability. People who are already grappling with immense challenges now facing the added burden of potential criminal charges. How can we, as a nation, justify punishing people for circumstances beyond their control? It's inhumane, counterproductive, and morally reprehensible. Imagine being fined for sleeping on a park bench when you have no other option. Imagine the fear and despair of being arrested for simply trying to find a safe place to rest your head. This ruling creates a vicious cycle of poverty and incarceration, trapping individuals in a system designed to punish rather than rehabilitate. It's a system that perpetuates homelessness, exacerbates existing inequalities, and further marginalizes those already struggling on the fringes of society. Homeless shelters are already overwhelmed and under-resourced, unable to meet the growing demand. Volunteers and social workers are doing their best, but they can't keep up with the increasing number of people in need. Community support is crucial, but it's not enough to counteract the systemic issues at play. Advocacy groups are fighting back, raising awareness and pushing for change but progress is slow. Lawmakers need to step up and create policies that address the root causes of homelessness, rather than criminalizing those who are suffering. There is hope, but it requires a collective effort from all of us to make a real difference.
Together we can build a more compassionate and just society where everyone has the opportunity to thrive. Trapped in a vicious cycle, from sidewalks to cells and back again. This cycle is now a grim reality for many who find themselves without a home, constantly moving between the streets and the criminal justice system. Here's how this dystopian scenario plays out. A homeless individual, let's call him John, gets caught sleeping under a bridge. John, like many others, is simply trying to find a safe place to rest, but the law sees it differently. He's issued a citation he can't afford to pay. This citation is not just a piece of paper, it's a ticket to further hardship, a reminder of the system's indifference to his plight. He ends up in court, racking up more fines and fees. The legal system, instead of offering help, piles on more financial burdens, making it nearly impossible for John to escape his situation. Eventually, a warrant is issued for his arrest. This warrant is not just a legal document. It's a symbol of the relentless pursuit of punishment over compassion. John, already grappling with the challenges of homelessness, is now caught in the criminal justice system. Navigating this system is a daunting task, filled with legal jargon and procedures that are difficult to understand without proper representation. This is not a hypothetical situation. It's the reality for countless individuals across the country. Each one has a story, a past, and a hope for a better future, yet they are all ensnared by the same unforgiving system. They get trapped in a revolving door of incarceration, moving from the streets to jails and back again. This cycle strips them of their dignity and hope, making it harder to break free each time they are pulled back in. Each arrest creates a criminal record, making it even harder for them to find housing, employment, or access essential services. This record follows them, a constant reminder of their past and a barrier to their future. It's a cruel and counterproductive system that criminalizes poverty and perpetuates homelessness. Instead of offering a helping hand, it pushes them further into the abyss of despair. This stark contrast highlights the harsh reality of their daily lives, where basic survival is criminalized. It's a nightmare that never seems to end. Each day brings new challenges, new fears, and the constant threat of arrest and incarceration. This feeling of being stuck is pervasive, a common thread in the stories of many homeless individuals. It's like the system is designed to keep them down, to make sure they never get back on their feet. The oppression is systemic, a deliberate design that seems to favor punishment over rehabilitation. Soon, I'll share how this will create profits for the wealthy and those in power. There are so many individuals out there, caught in the same trap. Each one is a testament to the failure of our society to address the root causes of homelessness and inequality. We need change, and we need it now. This call to action is urgent, a plea for a shift in how we view and treat the homeless population. This cycle is not just a failure of policy, it's a moral failing of our society. It reflects our collective inability to provide for the most vulnerable among us. We must demand better solutions that address the root causes of homelessness and support those in need rather than criminalizing their existence. It's time for a compassionate approach, one that offers hope and a path to a better future. Now for a dystopian reality, the existence of for-profit prisons and forced labor. And here's where things get even more disturbing. The criminalization of homelessness creates a captive workforce ripe for exploitation by the for-profit prison industry. Historically, there have been prisons that have used their inmates for the production of goods and services. Imagine John, 
now incarcerated for the crime of sleeping outdoors, being forced to work for little or no pay. His labor generates profits for private companies, while he remains trapped in a system designed to keep him marginalized and disenfranchised. This isn't just a theoretical concern. The use of prison labor for private gain has a long and shameful history in the United States and other countries like China. This ruling opens the door to a new era of exploitation, where the most vulnerable members of our society are treated as commodities to be exploited for profit. Now echoes of the past are heard. Is this modern day slavery? Let's be blunt. The forced labor of incarcerated individuals, particularly those imprisoned for crimes of poverty like sleeping in public, has chilling echoes of slavery. The 13th Amendment to the Constitution, while abolishing slavery, allows for an exception in voluntary servitude as punishment for a crime. This loophole has been used to justify the exploitation of prisoners for generations. The criminalization of homelessness, coupled with the for-profit prison model, creates a system eerily reminiscent of this dark chapter in American history. It's a system where individuals are deprived of their liberty, stripped of their dignity, and forced to work for the benefit of others. It's a system that should outrage anyone who believes in the fundamental principles of equality and justice. How do you feel about this topic? Please leave a comment, share this video, and subscribe for more. Until next time, stay aware and take care of each other.